And when the last British covering ships, warships, after this action of the Peterstal, went back to Britain, fast cruisers and, and, uh, and destroyers, uh, and close under the Algerian coast. Well, we got them at last, and we made a successful attack, but I got a splinter through my wing, and 150 liters, where well, there's a tank, also an auxiliary tank there and there, was flowing out and it lacked, uh, so I couldn't go home. I was far away, I wasn't in the Algerian coast. And so I had to look out for any landing ground uh, in French, Algeria, which I found. It was a little town of Philippeville and there was, a, was an airport and there I landed. All right, the French were under a special treaty with us, uh, armistice, and so also there in Algeria. And I uh, up came on a little car uh, a captain who introduced himself and he spoke a fluent German. He was obviously from Alsace, one of the uh, Germans. And I said to him, please fill up my plane. Only that one tank you need not. Oh, no, monsieur, he said, that's not possible. Uh, we have to wireless or telephone to Wiesbaden, where the permanent uh, armistice commission is sitting, and you are sitting at our, at our petrol uh, tap, and uh, everything what we are filling in to you, we have to have the, the permission from Wiesbaden that we get it re, re, replaced. Until we don't have the, the, the yes, we cannot fill in. Okay. Oh, the man. And how long will this take? No, yeah, more than a day, he said. Yeah, no. But I have to introduce you to the commander of the, of the garrison here. So we drove, and my gunner also, we drove into town, and there were splendid French colonial uh, barracks with, with iron rod windows and door and gutters which opened and tiles on the floor, beautiful, beautiful. And there I was standing with my gunner and with that captain and from far away from his uh, room a colonel came with long boots and with spurs and with a pince on his <laughs> on his eyes and white sleeves and a capi. He was a typical French officer. So he came, clear, 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 clear. And then the captain introduced me to that colonel. And now I thought he would at least give me the hand and ask something. Nothing. His eyes were blinkering on me for half a minute didn't give my hand, and then he turned and went away, clear, 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 clear. And the poor captain said, oh man, dommage, he cannot forget Alsace. Oh. I said, we also have not forgotten that old German piece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there we were sitting then yeah. for more than 30 hours. And we got a room uh, in, in a hospital, and that hospital was high on the, on the seaside. And uh, there doctors came. And they said, have you given it to them, to the English? Because they were all full of fury, because the English had uh, sank their, their fleet in Oran. Let's not forget, forgotten. Have you given it to them? Oh, I thought, I think so, yes. And um, where are you, where had you, have your Italians also been with you? And I was beginning a bit cumbersome and I was saying in my French, yes, uh, they were not at this mission, but, and when I had said this, they said, yes, yes, they were not in this mission, and you will never see them. We congratulate you to your splendid uh, allies. 
<lacht> und lauft.